Greetings, I'm Rob Chappers. I'm the captain. And we're at Anderton's in Guildford. And we are about to review for you the epically awesome M5 stomp box modeler from Line 6. Now, I know a little bit about these because I actually have the M9, which is the slightly larger uh, brother version of the M5. Um, this is basically a reduced in size, but still has all the features pretty much of the M9. Over, it's got 100 plus effects. Wow. That's a lot of effects. It's got a little bar here to prevent these buttons from being broken, which I really like. It's made of metal, super solid, hardcore, tank, rugged type thing. Uh, it isn't um, a cheap plastic box. Cool. You know? So it's super, super cool. And something that I really like about this is it's kind of, uh, it's WYSIWYG. WYSIWYG? It's WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get. And what that means is that whenever you dial up an effect, each of these buttons actually changes a parameter and then it saves whatever you've done to it. If you change effect oh, then, it remembers what you've done. So that's really clear. So basically on the little LCD display here, as we change through different effects, all six parameters are shown so you can immediately see what you've got to, you know, yeah. what's available to change. So there's nothing, so these six buttons, I'll give you a close up over the screen right now, the six buttons that you see don't have anything written above them, but if you look at the screen, yeah. you can see what they correspond to. And whatever you change them to, if you then change effects, it recalls it and memorizes it. So it really is as if you've got 100 effects pedals and you're changing each one physically. But this isn't multi-effects in, in the sense that the, the M5 is just designed to do one effect at a time. Yes. So obviously you can save uh, you know, 100 different types of effect if you want to, <coughs> but you can just recall them one at a time. Yeah. And I think where I get this is, th this is obviously a lot cheaper than M13 and M9. This is a, 169 pounds. And when you actually put that into perspective and think, if I was just to go and buy a decent delay pedal, I'd spend 120, 130 pounds. Yeah, and talking a decent delay, it's got great delay. Mm. In fact, I think the strongest feature of this pedal are the filters and the delays. Okay. They're really, really good. So give it, what's, what is the basic overview well, of effect? The thing is you've got five kinds of effect. You've got delays, modulations, distortions, filters, and verbs. And all you do is you press the model select button here, top left and it changes colour, Ooh. cycling through Ooh. the five, you like that don't you, it's yeah. nice, it's pretty, uh, the five kinds of effects, so basically for example green is the delays, press it again you get blue for the modulation, like yellow that. for distortion, pink, I oh, know, purple, pink, purple for filters and orange for verbs, and so it's really really simplistic, it isn't a confusing thing to use, it's just on the floor, stamp on it and it goes. Um, there's a tap tempo for the delays, uh, if you hold it you get a tuner, uh, it's literally on or it's off. It's as simple as that. Like a regular pedal would be. Just used. like a regular yeah. uh, you know, effect pedal. So what I did when I got this was I went straight to the filters uh, because they're such fun. They're the crazy sound. They are awesome fun. So let's just get a clean tone from the Lee. Mm. By the way, lots of people requested Lee play. I like his playing an awful lot too. It's roll so reversal day. It's roll it? reversal so day. So Chappers <laughs> is going to tell you about the gear and I'm going to play the guitar. Line six it up, buddy. So here's your clean tone We're using a black star amplifier. This is a standard American Les Paul. You'll note we've got no reverb or anything. Uh, it's no drive sound, nothing. Yeah. The amp is just, that's it. That's it. Yeah. You're going to be quite surprised. You really are. Especially for the money. It's ridiculous how good this is. So let's just go for my favorite of the filters. Uh, well, one, okay, we'll go for a voice box. This is one of my favorite filters. So here's a voice box. <laughs> Oh, I would have put money that you done that. <laughs> now I can change on this various parameters, one of which, for example, is the mix. So if I take the mix uh, down, all the way off, it's pure. Add it in gradually. There's half. And here's all of it. So you can be subtle as you want, or you can be as obvious as you want. Here is a V-Tron. Hit it, buddy. Ooh, throbber. Now that's quite an obvious effect, so I'm backing the mix down, giving you half the mix now. I recognise a lot of these effects Grabber. are straight off of the, the Pod HD 500 as well, aren't yes. they? So you're getting a lot of all the stuff, all the stuff that you get in that sort of big 400 pound unit, you're getting a lot of in yeah. there. Now you know you play the riff too, down out, yeah. diddle down out, or so. Wow, 
I've got a frequency control here, I can sweep the frequencies playing through, so here's a really low frequency. Here's a really high frequency. <laughs> That's great, isn't it? Uh, I can change the pitch. All sorts of things you can do, it's such good fun. Such fun. Let me hear some of the regular kind of just drive sounds. All right, right okay. To... Yeah. You got, you got, why don't we start with the reverb? Okay. You're going to be quite surprised. Now, bear in mind, we're going through the front of the amplifier yeah. for this particular demonstration. So this is going to be a 63 F-type spring. Hit me. That's pretty That's, good, isn't it? Yeah, it's good. Very good clean. I uh, guess if, if you bought <coughs> this to predominantly use as verbs and delays. You, you put it through the effects. Yeah, effects Absolutely. So. Let's do the same, we'll change, we'll change the reverb. That's just a classic. Has it got a, a ducking uh, reverb? Uh, room check, it's got everything. Cool, ducking, there you go, okay. ducking. Ducking is always a great effect for a reverb because uh, what it does is it is it reduces the impact of the reverb whilst I'm playing and then brings it in uh, in the gaps between what yeah, I'm so playing. Yeah, so funky so. Up. Good. Um, here is an octo verb. What's that? I played a scale there, did you say that? Was that was good. <laughs> <laughs> cave. Cave. Played a cave. I find you a really usable one. Um, I liked particle part verbs. <laughs> really usable. It's particle yeah, verb. Yeah, this isn't usable. Terribly. I'll tell you what it is good for though. Yeah. Turning it off and it keeps happening even if you turn it off. Do you know what? That's a really good point, that is, because yes. there's a lot of pedals. Um, in fact, we were doing this when we did the TC pedal. This is one of the problems you've got if you have a true bypass circuit in your pedal. As soon as you switch it off, the effect stops dead. And you can imagine. It's unnatural. Yeah, I'll turn it on again. And switch it off. You see it still and it ends, on. it still ends. So that'll do the same with a delay or a reverb or anything. So yeah. it's good Particle option. verb is a really good practice tool for adding modes. If you're learning about modes and uh, building chords from um, harmonizing a major scale, you could do something like, say, play an A note on the E string. Let it, let it ring. Okay. So we're going to make a Lydian chord. So the next thing is you're going to play me a sharpened fourth. So play that sharp and forth, yeah. uh, right, rather than playing a scale. We'll, do, we'll do it again. What am I doing? This so all we're going to do is note for note, we're going to build a chord in a chosen oh, I see. mode. So we'll so start with a root note, just hold, hold an A note. Yeah. So you just want me to play that, yeah? Well, we're going to make a Lydian chord, so oh. we're going to go one, where they're going to go sharp fourth, yeah. Yeah. then you're going to do a major third. Or on this, on this string? You can do a major third on the G string, oh, right there. Okay, so we go. Yes, that's perfect. Okay. Perfect. Ready? So but one by one, really slow. Yeah. I'm going to start with a root. Now a sharp and fourth. Now something else like a major third. There you go. Maybe an octave. That was a fifth. Two. Yeah. Lydian chord. That's great, isn't it? And you can you can sit there and you can build vocal chords all day long. You know, have fun with that. Uh, you could play a chord, let it ring, and see what notes sound nice over it. So, for example, hit me a major chord. Let it ring. Now play a minor third. So play that note there. Hear how horrible that is. Never do that. The, the this is classic spring reverb, classic play. So here's a spring. I'll make it quite subtle. Put a little bit of mix in. I'm going to make it 66 milliseconds. Back off the delay, and there you go. That's the classic spring. Zone. That's a very usable effect. Now we've got plate verb. Uh, plate's more sparkly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's do some delays. The delays yeah. are awesome here. This is tube echo. Oh, that's slapback, isn't it? Yeah. I tell you who does bird, that. Bird, 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 the bird is a bird, the bird, 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 the bird.
If you get the slap back actually a bit faster than that, and I'm not even going to remotely attempt to do this, but there's Albert Lee. You ever see him playing some of the crazy licks that he does? He does use a delay pedal to essentially make everything sound like he's kind of playing it twice as fast as he actually does. <laughs> If you've never done that before, this just shows how good a guitar player is. That's actually very hard to do. You've got to have a super good sense of rhythm to do that kind of thing. We'll praise the Lee. Right. What else uh, we got? We're gonna, well, I'm gonna get. Well, for example, that one also has a drive. So if I drive it up, I see. So it's like a tube. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, oh, I was I was affecting the. Uh... Oh, you can hear that. There you go. So there's a little bit of drive. I take the drive out. It's just clicking it now. So that's a nice, that's a nice touch. Here is, uh, let's go for something, tape echo. Do you know why tape echo is so hard to digitally reproduce? Because you see, and the wow and everything. Yeah, you've seen that the uh, the old in the sort of you know 60s the, the where echo was done on a on a tape where a, a head would would record and play back the 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 sound as it went round. And what used to happen was each time it looped round, the, the tape would sort of be slightly more demagnetized. It would sound slightly different before. And as Rob said, you get a bit of flutter where the tape speed isn't necessarily bang on every time. So to try and digitally recreate that is almost like the, the holy grail of, of uh, how to do it. So, and Line 6 have got a great reputation for getting those Check kind of, uh, I don't even know what I'm gonna do now. The chords. Multi-head. Multi-head's always good. Yes. I found that, yeah. I met two Swedish <laughs> They gave me multi-head. <laughs> oh, I see. So you get that... You get it, two heads. Yeah. I'll make, I'll make it a bit longer. I'll make it, I'll make it a bit longer, a bit more feedback. What see, someone's I? changed the, the setting, so it wasn't... You know, it is... Uh, Analog today, analog oh, with delay, modulation. with modulation. Of it. This is where just the actual repeats have got the modulation on yeah. them. Anyway, enough delays, let's go modulations, and everyone, we're going to get distortions at the end because it's such good fun. Uh, here's a tremolo for you. some REM tunes or something, don't you? It's a very usable effect. You'd ever uh, I was want. Say, just tons Let, let's go for uh, there's a, script phase. There's a whole script list phase of this. Is really nice. If you want to see every single effect that's on here, just go to the Anderton's website. Yeah. Search for M5. This is we'll the best phaser contained within it. These obviously work fantastic with gain as well. We'll maybe show you some of these with some of the distortion for the amplifier later on, but we're going to go now straight to the distortions because that's all you're going to want to hear. Here is a tube drive. <coughs> now I'm going to take some of the top end off because it's a bit toppy. Add a bit more mid in. A bit more bass. And I'm going to back some of the output out just to make it a bit more subtle. more subtle, I'll back the drive off and leave the output the same as the uh, original clean signal. So here's the clean. 
Here's the drive. Nice. That's good. Yeah, he's very usable. Take it off. Yeah. These come with a touch more top end than I would use, and so I add loads of mid in because I like a lot of mid frequency because we're a guitar player. A bit more bass, and I back off some of the top end treble, and you get a more usable effect. Especially if you work the power valves and back off the drive on these effects. So try it now. I love that riff, don't I? Bet you wish you'd never played that in front of me, so I'd never <laughs> stop it. just what they call heavy distortion. I'll tell you what is interesting, it's how quiet the amp is, bearing around well, how much clean. gain we've got. It's a clean channel. I know, but you've got the pedal on. But I think this is also going to it, a noise gate. It must have. It sounds like it's got a noise gate on. Yeah, yeah it's, it's got, got a noise, noise gate, gate on, yeah. yeah. So, uh, the last one we'll do is the sub octave fuzz. Always love octave effects, me. Yes. I'm a big fan. Yeah, tons of fun. Basically, you can kind of think of an idea, stick it on there, change parameters, and you're good to go. Simple as that. Let's now yep. just do gain from the amp, which is what I would do, and then use some of the simple modulations and delays from the pedal, and I'll play guitar. Should we switch it over into the effects loop? Yes. Yeah, let's do that then. So we've now got all of the distortion coming from the amplifier. We're going to be using some filters and some verbs and delays from the awesome M5 from line six. Check this out. What are we starting with, Captain? Big delay. <laughs> There's the drive signal. Oh, yeah. I must admit, these are, these are super easy to use. Yeah, they're really easy. They're really intuitive. Uh, we haven't bothered to look at the manual because we're men uh, and we've worked <laughs> it out really quickly, so that's fine. Uh, right, so. Um, well, take, take me to some filters. They're a lot of fun. Okay. So press it until you get purple. Uh, it's a mantra of mine. Press it until you get purple. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Tron it up then, baby. <laughs> Is that all the Mazaga? Octisynth. <laughs> 